don't usually speak to you starting P3 behind two Ferraris. So were you surprised as we were and maybe even Ferrari were by their pace today in the end? I mean, I thought they were always quite close, maybe not the quickest, but it was not massive gaps. And um, around here, it's all about little details because it's so slippery and um, you have to be very smooth on the steering wheel and just the general behavior of the car. And I think uh, from our side in Q3, it just started to, to pull away from us where I wasn't that smooth anymore because I was just fighting the car a little bit too much. And um, yeah, that of course then cost a bit of lap time. Uh, the investigation for stopping in the pit lane, are you aware of that and what do you expect to come of it? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I just do what everyone else is doing around me, so I don't I don't really get it. I mean, it's the only place where you can make a bit of a gap, so I, yeah, I don't really understand. Long run to turn one here. I know the slipstream isn't as effective because of the altitude, but do you aim to get ahead by turn one? Can you afford to be patient tomorrow? What's the plan? I'm not thinking about it, to be honest, at the moment. We'll just see how it goes go with the flow. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a long race and um, it's not won or lost in, in the press call. Thank you. Thanks, Max. So